Uh, we're here with the uh, California Expo. Um, we've been doing it with them for about the last three or four years. And we bring our aircraft here. The aircraft you see here is an Epic LT. Uh, this aircraft started out at one time as a custom built uh, uh, experimental aircraft. Customer would come up to our facility, assemble the aircraft, and, uh, and then fly away their, their personal built aircraft. Uh, since then, we have uh, dis discontinued that uh, program, and now we are now certifying the airplane. We've been on this project for the last six years, and we expect in September to have a certified product uh, ready to begin delivering to customers at the end of this year. First of all, the, part of the construction of the aircraft is uh, it's a, a all carbon fiber uh, aircraft. Um, we power it with a Pratt & Whitney PT6 engine, 1,200 horsepower. Because it is carbon fiber, it's a lightweight. Uh, obviously, the aerodynamics on it are phenomenal uh, with that 1,200 horse Pratt & Whitney engine on it. Uh, the aircraft will cruise at 325 knots um, and uh, with 1,100 pound payload with full fuel. So we got the capability of putting six people on board and going long distances really fast. Right now we, we uh, advertise at 1,600 miles on, a, on our economy cruise. Our high performance cruise is about 1,300 miles. But really in this industry, um, you talk to people they're, they're, and you ask them, how long can you sit in an airplane and fly? What I found in the 20 plus years I've been in the business, about three to three and a half hours. So this airplane in three, and a three, and a half, three to three and a half hours will take you to mid-continent. And if you're anywhere in the mid-continent, you're three, and a, three to three and a half hours from anywhere in the United States. And that kind of gives you a good idea. It'll cruise it, uh, we're right now with certifying the aircraft to 34,000 feet. So it'll be RVSM approved. Um, and. Uh, so you'll be up in pressurized comfort in a high performance aircraft that will get you where you need to go. The aircraft is 3.25 million, so um, it, you're in that, in that category of product that uh, it's, it's going to require you to you know, be able to afford that amount. But the fact that it, uh, you know, it's, this is one of those aircraft that serve as a step up aircraft. So the gentleman that, uh, or, the, or the lady that owns a, a small single piston engine airplane, and they want to take it to the next level, this is that airplane they can step up into. Uh, you can fly this airplane, it's a high performance single engine prop aircraft. So a type rating is not required like you would on the small jets. So it's easier to operate. It operates off of a high density altitude airport, it's a lot easier than your small turbofan engine aircraft do. Uh, it's got a great payload on it so you can load it up and not have to worry about uh, you know, who you're going to leave behind. And uh, so it's just a, just a great all around airplane. It's, I hate to use the expression, it's a game changer though, because if you take this aircraft and you, and we've done it, we've researched all the IFR flights in the United States, and, um, and the average of all IFR flights in this category of aircraft, we outperform everything up through this, the small, turbine, uh, uh, small turbojet aircraft.